Hi. Uh, so today I want just to showcase uh, this uh, here. Uh, it is a device that turns a um, uh, toggle switch, so a toggle switch like this one, uh, to a momentary switch. Uh, to a momentary uh, switch. So yes, uh, let me just show you uh, what it does here, because I want to be really quick. I don't want to. Let me show you what it does. If the toggle switch form waveform looks something like this, so you have some here timing, so unknown time, and then after unknown time, you you decide to turn off the switch. So this uh, this could be a device that you use uh, to hook up with the Arduino and uh, so uh, you have this toggle switch that you want to uh, you have um, like tens uh, ten uh, and maybe more maybe twenty toggle switches that you want to hook up to the Arduino but you see that the Arduino only has uh, thirteen or so digital pins so. Uh, you uh, have to use uh, another Arduino or something like this here, which can turn the switch into a momentary switch, so you can so you can use these shift registers. Or this is much better. I I did this so you can use twenty of these or or as many as you like switches with just one pin of the Arduino. So this is very interesting. You have this this waveform here. So you have this uh, this here. Like it's not the, the the actual waveform. It's the it's the time here that that some time passed. So the switch is on for some x amount of time. But the output of this device will look something like this. So what I want to 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 say here is that this. Uh, a long, long waveform here, long, uh, sh very short frequency uh, is turned into two pulses on the on and off position. If if you can see there, like, l let me just let me showcase it to you. Let me showcase it. You can see the output LED here. The output LED. When I turn it on one of the sides, you can see the LED pops, blinks here, on, and I turn it on the other side, it goes off. So you have, but what you have with this here uh, device is that you can change the length of the wave here. You can change this, let me say it like K. You can change this length of the wave here. Okay, this pulse. So if you have 10 of these switches and 10 of these boards, you can each one you can make it I uh, you can make it different. So you instead uh, instead of we have here a 47 microfarad capacitor, you can put the smaller one on. So one board will have uh, 20 uh, 27 microfarad, uh, the other will have 22 microfarad, the other 10 micro. Farad, then you can uh, 4.7, 2.2, then you can go 1 microfarad, then you can go uh, 0.1 or 0.2 uh, microfarads. Uh, uh, so you have these, these uh, list of the capacitors, and each switch will have a different waveform. So the other switch will have a, a waveform that is longer or a waveform that is shorter so what i want to to say here that if you if you connect all of the, these switches and plus the output of this is made so you can connect them in in uh, all of these uh, you can sum them up so you can connect them to one of the pin of uh, one, to one pin of the arduino and create this this waveform that the arduino can recognize so this is the same. So this one, one. This is two. This is three. The Arduino can can recognize this uh, this difference in uh, in time. 
and you can say that this is switch one, this is switch two, this is switch three, and so on. So let me just. Uh, and this is what is uh, good about. I want to showcase this uh, this uh, board from a long time ago, and um, I haven't had time to to do it. It is essentially turning uh, in uh, the tog a toggle switch, any kind of toggle switch. Uh, but uh, here, what what we are using is a, a single pole. Uh, that's why it's different. So if I show you the schematic here, you can see that this is a, a double pole single throw switch. It's called the double pole. Let me just zoom in here. In the schematic, we use the this double pole double pole single throw switch. But in the in the reality, I had uh, I couldn't find that kind of switch uh, just uh, really quickly. So uh, I used uh, a single pole double throw switch. So I changed here the 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 resi I didn't uh, need uh, the this resistance here, and I just changed it to to here to one kilo ohm resistance. So it's I'm go in the next video. I'm going to go through the schematic and show you how it works. Uh, I may put some links in the description. So this is a simulated schematic and it works. So if you have this switch, if you don't have it, you can see that, that both of these uh, transistors here, uh, they receive um, opposite, vol uh, opposite um, voltage. So if this uh, discharges, uh, discharges and the, the opposite way around, and this is just a NAND gate here that you're looking at. This is just an output LED. You can grab the signal from here without this output LED and put it directly onto the Arduino. Uh, so let me not go a, a lot further. Um, I have, uh, so uh, the setup is really simple. This is just the board and the switch. Let me show you that I have here. Um, let me just show you like that. So I have here a battery, a battery, just a nine volt battery connected to a five uh, volt regulator. So this board wants five volt, it's compatible with the Arduino. Five volt regulator and these wires just come into the board here. Uh, what is very interesting is that this board uh, relies on the uh, transistor logic uh, and is much cheaper than uh, one I've another one that I've built but much more precise board with the INI555 timer here and uh, let me just focus in on that so this board is much more precise and it's used uh, uh, for uh, very small time intervals uh, very uh, quick but uh, we can show you uh, we can show you the workings of this board in the next video it's the same it's the same principle, but just with two any 555 timers. Uh, and uh, however, this board here is much more uh, friendly and cheaper uh, for anyone that wants to uh, wants to use a lot of a lot of uh, toggle switches uh, uh, in uh, in uh, compare in the comparison with the Arduino. Uh, the schematic is uh, quite simple. Uh, it's everything is quite simple, and the, and what you want to remember is uh, this is the this is the the whole waveform here. Um, just having uh, for for some like uh, for uh, you you can uh, like you can uh, go this switch you can. Uh, it's infinite you can have infinite amount of time here turn on the switch and it won't trigger anything in here so you would have just one pulse when it's changed either from uh from zero so from zero uh, to five or from uh, five to zero like it's done right here and you would have this pulse and that's it but uh, it's interesting how this board uh, I designed it from, from scratch uh, and it works with just four transistors and uh, two uh, diodes 
uh, it's cheaper, it's it's easier to build, you can have them. But I would recommend if you have this schematic, first trying it out on a prototype board depending on the switch. Um, on how, uh, on, uh, on what switch you have, like here if I have 10 of these switches, so I would need to redesign a little bit the board. I have, uh, I even have, let me show you some. I even have uh, the boards like this, uh, I designed them on the Circuit Wizard application program. So uh, I have the, uh, the PCBs for them. Uh, this is for the PCB for the, um, uh, this here, the double pole single throw switch. But if you have uh, a switch like the double pole, uh, double throw, you can use this uh, this uh, schematic and, and will work uh, just fine. But re uh, remember just uh, going, uh, uh, first having, uh, first uh, uh, building this uh, PCB just as a prototype, just to see if it works and then, and then, um, and then building it. So you may have some problems with the switch, you may have uh, some additional problems, that's why uh, just having a prototype at first and not building 10 pieces uh, without knowing what's going on and how you want. So um, this is uh, really it. You can change these capacitors here, the both uh, these both capacitors, you can see them at, at the schematic here, change them both of these capacitors. To, uh, to your likings, but I uh, suggest both in uh, to have them uh, the same uh, uh, the same value. So you would have a pair characteristic um, on the wave uh, on this wave and on this wave and on. I I think uh, even uh, even if they are different, it should uh, it should get a similar waveform. But why? Uh, but why have different capacitors? Because the, it, it is uh, symmetrical. This stage and this stage is just a monostable circuit, symmetrical monostable circuit, and this is the tr where where the transistors sit on the on the uh, NAND gate. So you can see them. These are the monostable transistors, and these are the transistors on the NAND gate. Uh, I will leave it in he at here. So uh, I sh showcased you the uh, the board. Uh, it's a really nice uh, thing to have if you want to hook up many uh, toggle switches to one pin of the Arduino. So you are you are uh, you are uh, reserving uh, pins on the Arduino. It's quite easier to to manage it. And in the next episode, I will show you a little bit how this schematic works. And in the couple of next episodes, so uh, we'll uh, we'll hook it up to the Arduino, maybe try some things out, maybe uh, hook the two boards to the Arduino and, and have this different wave characteristic and have the Arduino detect uh, which of the switches pulled on and off. Uh, the only thing you need to have is to have all uh, on the uh, on the start of the Arduino all all the switches on one of the positions on or off. So the Arduino will know or save the, this uh, data in the Arduino EEPROM, which uh, we're going to talk about uh, in the next few episodes. I don't want to get uh, anything um, here uh, more. You, you saw uh, how it's set up, you saw how it works. Uh, the switch here, it may have some problems because I don't know, it just kind of... Um, kind of these these contacts are not great on the switch here uh, so i suggest buying a, a, a not so quality switch because this this is a, a quality switch and yet it does not work so buying a couple like 10 switches from china uh, will know that uh, at least nine will work this the contacts it just i don't know it it doesn't look good uh, whatever it is it is uh, this is a great 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 schematic it doesn't look so complicated uh, it, it's it maybe looks complicated but it isn't uh, uh, complicated because it's just 
uh, two transistors, couple of resistors, charging, discharging the capacitors and having this. It's, it's fairly easy, simple and uh, effective. So uh, this I will here end the video uh, and uh, we'll uh, talk again later soon.